All right, what's up, guys? Pet man, Matt Morrow, Carolina Varsity, bringing you uh, players of the game for week one. And I've got a lot of players. Uh, what we do typically is we talk about players um, that stood out from the games we attended and then uh, kind of spotlight those guys. And then we go to coaches' nominations and then we can go to um, fan nominations. Uh, we got some coaches' nominations this week. I uh, had a couple fan nominations. Um, and, but a lot of these, uh, because we had so many games that we went to, are uh, players from the games that, that, well, for me, these are the ones that I attended. Um, and I've got a ton because I went to like four games. <laughs> so I'm going to jump right into it. Um, Nally Creek Scotland game. Of course, everybody um, has heard about it already, but I wanted to spotlight these guys. Uh, quarterback Jaden Washington uh, played very well, uh, threw a couple touchdown passes, made some nice reads on the uh, zone read. Uh, and really committed offense well. Did an interview with him after the game. Uh, well spoken young man. Uh, it was a pleasure to watch him play that game. Uh, I'm going to hope I don't mess this up. Naze Bryant, uh, running back number six, had um, 133 yards rushing and um, several nice moves. Um, if you go through the game uh, tape that I put up on YouTube, there's a screen pass where he makes a nice spin move. Uh, there was nice cuts on the uh, zone plays. A very impressive run back. Uh, of course, number three, Lavelle Williams on the outside had a couple nice uh, TD catches, um, a couple big catches that really uh, flipped the field from Mallard Creek. And, um, you know, he's a very talented young man, a transfer from New Orleans, and a um, pleasure to watch him play. Uh, the two linebackers really stood out from Mallard Creek. Uh, Kalen Allen, everybody's probably seen the big hit uh, he laid on uh, Zamir White. That was a really big highlight uh, play. And then Cameron Lowry, a uh, two-way player, um, really played well on defense. Um, then he had two uh, short rushing touchdowns out of the uh, heavy goal line formation Mallow Creek uses. So uh, congrats to all you guys. Played very well. And I went down to Scotland and represented uh, 704 um, the way it should be done. Uh, for Scotland, Zamir White, of course, <laughs> speaks for himself. Um, had two catches, two touchdowns on those, a 66-yarder and a 40-yarder. And um, he had an 80, I believe it was 89-yard touchdown run also. Um, he only touched the ball 12 times, but had like over 300 total yards of offense. Um, he's the best running back in the nation. Uh, there's no question about it in his class. And, um, you know, it was a pleasure to see him live. Um if you haven't done it, you got to make some time to see Scotland and see him in action. It, it's definitely worth the price of admission. All right, so we're going to jump to Harding Huff. Uh, for Harding, I had four guys really stood out, and there's a common theme with all four of these guys. Uh, Quivaris Crouch, I mean, good gracious. I mean, what, what can you say about this guy? Um, you know, Coach Griner called him uh, the fire-breathing dragon from Game of Thrones. <laughs> but, uh... You know that he he does it all, man. It, it's amazing. Uh, Twenty-two carries, two hundred sixty-four yards, three touchdowns. Um, the biggest one of those was on a fourth and one in a Huff territory in the fourth quarter, and um, he just blasted off left guard and then you know ran through a couple tackles to the end zone. Um, and the way he runs the ball is just something. He can hurdle. You know he can make you miss. He can run away from you. And he can run through you. Uh, on defense, seven tackles, four tackles for loss, two sacks, one fumble recovery. He returned for 15 yards. Uh, amazing performance by, by Mr. Crouch. And we did an interview with him after the game. Uh, very nice of him to do that. Uh, he was dog tired and for good reason. Uh, Brahim Murphy, the quarterback, um, had a really big run in the uh, first series that set up the first short touchdown for Crouch. Um, had a, a few nice scrambles. Um, Played offense well. And then he also played some defense as well. Got in and um, playing in the secondary. Um, also, really towards the end of the game when Huff was uh, trying to make their comeback. Uh, big Javon Gwynn on the offensive line. Uh, mentioned that fourth down run. Uh, that was ran right behind him. It was just straight power. And you could see him just driving his man five, six yards off the ball on that play. Um, he got in on defense, played really well down at the uh, D tackle position, had a um, couple tackles for loss there. And then Malik Dunlap, uh, he was matched up almost exclusively with uh, Nolan Gruel, the star receiver for Huff, and really did a good job on him. Um, he played well. Um, he also played some receiver on offense, 
And that's the common theme for all four of these guys. Two-way players. They play both sides of the ball. Harding plays a lot of Iron Man football, and, um, you know, they got it done. And um, that's commendable because, like, a, like we said earlier in the season, you don't see that as much anymore. Um, and they did a good job. Uh, for Huff, the uh, kid that really stood out to me was Kanique Stewart, the quarterback. Um, I, I talked uh, before the game with one of their coaches, and um, you know, he said that you know he's kind of a raw at the quarterback position, but he didn't necessarily look like it. Uh, he he made some great scramble plays, and then some plays that he had to improvise, and um, he was able to complete passes, um, scrambling. And I'm recovering from um, one that stands out. It was a bad snap. He picked it up, rolled out, and hit someone for about a 25-yard gain. So this kid has a lot of potential as a dual-threat quarterback. Um, he's one to watch, a uh, special talent that's in the making at Huff. Um, then we jump to the kickoff classic hosted by uh, Charlotte Kickoff Night. Ortho Carolina, those guys get an awesome job down at Memorial Stadium. I was only able to stay for a game and a half, but... Um, there's some players that really stood out to me in that, at this um, event. Uh, Preston Brown, the quarterback for West Mech, taking over for Richard Latimer. Uh, what a game that he played. Uh, you know, the, the run that West Mech offense is a lot of formations, um, a lot of different types of plays. And um, you have to distribute that ball to your playmakers, and he did an awesome job, as well as um, getting out of the pocket and uh, making some uh, nice runs, showing, uh, showing some du uh, dual threat ability. Um, the MVP was, of course, Deami Brown. Scored four touchdowns in three different ways. Um, by now, everyone knows how dynamic this kid is. And, um, you know, it's it's always a pleasure to, to watch him play and uh, pretty much just put on the show the way he, he did on Saturday. Uh, Tyrell Reed, defensive end for West Mac, he had two sacks on consecutive plays. And, um, you know, it's always great to see a defensive end start to just dominate sometimes. And, you know, that was really um, a man starting to come into his own. That that was really nice to see. Um, for Vance, the kid that stood out for me was MJ Williams, the running back. He recently committed to uh, UNC Charlotte. Um, but, you know, he had a few nice kick returns. Gave Vance really good field position. Really quick in the run game. Uh, we run the zone play. He puts his foot in the ground against north and south. Uh, I can see why uh, Charlotte wants him. He's a, a very talented player. And then you jump to uh, Providence Day Olympic. Um, defensive lineman Jacoby Cohen, uh, hope I, or Calvin, I hope I said that right. Uh, he was named the MVP of that game, and he had a, a couple nice plays um, that I, I did get on film. I will make a highlight. Of it. It'll be on YouTube soon. Uh, but he had a couple of nice plays and um, had some fumble recoveries and really was disruptive um, against the Olympic front. Uh, Nickel Fields had a, a nice pick six. Um, he took it back, I believe it was about 60 yards, um, and it, it was a thing of beauty to watch. And uh, the problem is that quarterback, Cody Cater, I was really impressed with the way he played. Uh, Left-handed quarterback, uh, managed the offense really well. They do some nice things on offense, like the way they do. Um, they, they're kind of steady, and uh, they... And not necessarily a big play team, but, you know, they're efficient in what they do. That's the best way I can say it, and he, he managed that really well. Uh, for Olympic, two guys stood out. Uh, Damon Rouse, the running back, I liked him back at the Jamboree, and he ran well again uh, down here at the um, Classic at Memorial Stadium. And uh, Jameek Edmonds, um, this is a kid you have to watch out for, man, because he had um, two touchdowns really quickly. I believe it was the second quarter. And um, he got the ball in his hands, and he, it was lights out. And um, this is a name you're going to have to watch because he wasn't on the radar, but he, I think he's made a name for himself really quickly here. Um, so let's jump to coach nominations, and we had a couple here. Uh, Hickory Ridge, big win over Concord, 34-15. Uh, quarterback Dylan Ratliff had 13 carries for 125 yards and a touchdown. Also, passing-wise, he was 13-19 and 19 for 211 yards and two TDs. Uh, really good uh, dual-threat game right there for Mr. Ratliff. Uh, wide receiver Jalen Brooks, he's the counterpart to Jarrett Garner. Eight catches for 110 yards and a touchdown. I talked with uh, Jalen back in the preseason. Uh, he, he's someone that um, can really explode. He's a nice-sized kid. Uh, battled a little bit of injury last year, but um, he's going he's gonna to come into his own. On the defensive side, Cal Wallerstedt, 
Uh, Ten tackles, eight assists, and two sacks. Very good numbers. And uh, linebacker Connor Helm, nine tackles, six assisted, and a sack for him as well. So a uh, nice win for Hickory Ridge. And on um, those pictures that Chris Solomon takes up there for us, she does an awesome job. Um, Mountain Island had three guys nominated by Coach Washington. Uh, Maurice Evans, uh, Jr., excuse me. Maurice Evans, Jr., uh, senior defensive end, had five tackles, five tackles for loss, and five sacks. My goodness, what a game. Uh, Levante Kennedy, uh, junior athlete position, eight carries, 132 yards, and a touchdown. Also had five tackles. And running back Elijah Burris, sophomore, is going to be a very, very good running back, uh, D1 caliber player. Uh, 18 carries, 148 yards, two touchdowns, and a reception for 10 yards. Mountain Island, one of the best 1A programs in the state. Uh, Coach Washington does an awesome job up there. And for Cardinal Gibbons, thank you, Mr. Um, Cardinal Gibbons, for this uh, nomination. And this is another quarterback. Their quarterback last year was good. Looks like they got another good one. Uh, Nick Frey was 18-25, 238 yards, four touchdowns. And this was his first varsity start and led his team to a big 42-19 win. So congratulations to Nick Frey. And uh, thank you, Cardinal Gibbons, for that. And finally, a uh, fan nomination um, that, that I always appreciate from Mooresville. They do a great job of nominating people every week. And that's Laz Hayes. Um, running back, 156 yards, rushing. Uh, two touchdowns in their victory over West Roman, 29-3. Mooresville off to a 1-0 start. So, once again, uh, if, if you want recognition or you feel like you deserve it, uh, coaches, you can nominate your players, fans, you can nominate. Um, when you nominate, especially fans, please have some stats. Um, then we try to verify those. And if everything is good, then we'll, you know, shout them out in players of the week. Um, and we'll always do them from games that we attend. Thanks for watching. Congratulations to all you guys. You did an awesome job week one. Hope to talk to talk about you again in week two. Thanks.